This is the woolly mammoth. Woolly mammoths are extinct relatives of today's elephants. We can hear you! They lived in the last ice age. Oh, sorry! <laughs> Hi, friends! Sorry about that. Remember my visit to the museum that I told you about? Yeah! Well, we had a really cool person named Linda with us. She was our tour guide. A tour guide is someone who shows you around and tells you really cool things about what you see. The problem was, Linda spoke really quiet and I couldn't hear what she was saying. Huh? So, my dad suggested I go to the museum website and listen there. I had it on full blast, so that I won't miss anything. Speaking of full blast, this is the woolly mammoth. It was one of my favorite things we saw at the museum. They lived a long, long time ago. Can you imagine what they sounded like? Let's try and make woolly mammoth sounds. <laughs> woolly mammoths aren't around anymore, so we can't actually hear them. Though it's fun to imagine. I wonder what we'll hear in today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. John was doing the job that God had sent him to do. He was baptizing people in the river and getting them ready to see Jesus. And then one day, Jesus was there at the river. He had come to be baptized too. John couldn't believe it. Jesus was God's son. He didn't do anything wrong ever. Why did he need to be baptized? But Jesus said that it had to be done. So John baptized Jesus. He put him under the water and brought him back up. When he did this, the sky opened. God's spirit came down as a kind of bird called a dove. And then God spoke. God said that Jesus was God's son who God loved, and that Jesus made God very happy. John had been telling everyone the very same thing about Jesus, but now they heard it from God's very own voice, because we can hear God's voice if we listen. Whales are mammals just like us. They breathe air just like we do, but they breathe through blowholes on the top of their heads. Wow! I missed so much by not being able to hear Linda the tour guide at the museum. I'm really glad I had a different way of hearing all about the cool things I saw there. That made me think about the different ways that God speaks to us. In the Bible story today, people got to hear God's own voice. But God also spoke through John to get people ready for Jesus. What if God is talking to us all the time in different ways? Maybe we can hear God in nature, through things like trees, sunsets, and even the sound of rain. Maybe we can hear God in the voices of our parents or friends. We just have to listen. We can hear God's voice if we listen. Maybe God can even speak in the voice of a woolly mammoth. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Either way, it's still fun to practice our woolly mammoth voice. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you all next time. What will you do to listen for God's voice this week? Remember... We can hear God's voice if we listen. <laughs> <laughs>